Hey beauties, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Alicia, if it's your first time here. Today's video is in collaboration with Merit Beauty. If you don't know Merit Beauty, they are a luxury, clean beauty brand, and their focus is more on minimalistic beauty, hence this look that I have going on today. Merit just launched a new signature lipsticks, and I have two out of the eight to show you today. So if you wanna see the lipsticks and how I created this minimalistic makeup look, then of course, keep on watching. So first things first, you know I have to show you guys the packaging. The packaging just makes me so happy. This is how it comes and it says less is more because of course, as I said, it is a minimalistic beauty brand. But this bag, okay? This makeup bag is just too cute. It's like a mustard yellow corduroy bag. You can reuse this any way you want. If you want to use it as a makeup bag, you can. If you want to have it as a little clutch, maybe, you can. But it is just super, super cute, so I just couldn't wait to show you guys this. Sis, this bag comes absolutely free with your first order, so I will leave all the links down below if you want to check it out. But I thought that was such a cool little touch, so I had to share that with you guys. All right, so Merit just launched their new signature lipsticks. They come in eight shades, but I have two of them to show you guys today. First, I have to show you guys the packaging because you already know. This is the lipstick, super, super cute, gold and brown, I love it. Then it has the logo at the bottom. You just pull it off, there we go. We have the lipstick in this beautiful gold tube. So this first shade is called Slip, and I'm just gonna swatch it on my hand for you first. So that's what it looks like. It's like a neutral brown. It's a hydrating, buildable lipstick with a soft satin finish. It's so lightweight, you'll forget you're wearing it. And then the second one I got is Millennial, and it's supposed to be like a pinky nude. So that is Millennial right there. So I'm gonna actually try those lipsticks on later once I complete the face. Okay, so first things first, let's get into this complexion stick. It says it's not a foundation or concealer, it's both. Use it only where you need it so you get compliments on your skin and not your makeup. The shade that I picked is Amber. So I know it's a little darker than I am, but I wanted to play it safe, so I figured I'm gonna go with darker. I'm just gonna kinda go in with it all over the face. Wow. Also, it's definitely just melting into my skin. Even though the shade is a little bit dark for me, I think because it's so sheer, you can't really tell. So yeah, so it's pretty much just giving second skin. You can still see my blemishes. My skin definitely does look more of one tone. I like this. I feel like it would be good to blend out with your fingers too. I like it. I feel like if you don't have dark circles like I do, you can totally get away with using this on the go, all over your face or just on your blemishes, cover under your eyes, and you're good to go. It's definitely giving skin. I like how it looks. But you guys know I need my concealer, so I'm just gonna do that really quick. So the complexion stick can definitely double as a concealer and a foundation, but I had to add a little bit of concealer off camera. So yeah, now we're gonna go on. I picked up their mascara. It's your go-to mascara for every day. It tints, lengthens, and lifts lashes with no smudging ever. And of course, as with everything else, it is clean, vegan, and cruelty-free. I pretty much have zero lashes, like itty bitty bitty lashes, so I definitely wanted to try a lengthening mascara. I'm always looking for a good one anyways. Let's see what I can get this to do. Okay, first thing, I like that it's really black because I always try to buy the blackest black mascara. I am impressed. Can you guys see this? I have lashes, look. <laughs> That's just one time. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna go to the next side. Hope you guys can see this. I like this. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> like I'm always wearing falsies because I don't have any lashes.
you guys have never seen my lashes my natural lashes look like this never like this is the perfect everyday mascara for me oh my goodness i'm always looking for mascaras like i i just buy everything to be honest i never really found one that does actually i did find one one time but then they discontinued it <laughs> this mascara is so nice like i haven't seen my lashes look like this in a very long time they're still itty bitty but for me this is a big deal okay guys i don't have lashes so if you don't have lashes and you have, don't have a favorite mascara you might want to check this one out okay because i feel like i look like i have lashes right now i messed up a little bit under my eye but i have to let it dry before i um remove it so we're just gonna move on i did pick up two of their flush bombs and this is basically just a blush so it says a universal tint that melts into your skin for a lit from within color so i love the sound of that um i have two of these the first shade i have is called beverly hills and this is what it looks like so beverly hills is described as a soft peach that's what it looks like on me and then the next one i have is called cheeky so cheeky is described as a cool pink these feel pretty creamy that's cheeky right there Beverly Hills seems softer, so I'm gonna try this one first. As you can see, it's very sheer. So it's not really as pigmented, but it's definitely giving me that glow from within. They, they do have highlighting bombs as well, but they were sold out, so I'm still excited because I am still getting a nice little glow there. Let's go in with Cheeky. I feel like Cheeky is definitely going to show up more. Let's do Cheeky on this side. Yeah. Let's see. And as with the complexion stick, it definitely blends out really nicely, really easily. Oh, I like that. Can you guys see? It's just a nice flush of color. This is like what I'd wear to work. Like seriously, just a nice, easy, like you can blend this in with your fingers. Bring this on the go and just kind of blend it. This is perfect. Like look. Tap it out. And it definitely doubles as a highlighter, a nice glow. Can you guys see that? So now I only have lip products. So we have the Shade Slick Tinted Lip Oil. And this is what it looks like. Cute, cute packaging. So this is a lip oil and it says, it's a wash of sheer color, rich with rose hip and grapeseed oils for healthy, never sticky lips. You guys already know, I do not do them sticky lips. I do not like those sticky glosses. So it has a doe foot applicator. I didn't expect that for the lip oil, but let's see. The color I got is Eau Natural, and I can swatch it on the back of my hand for you. Mm. Okay, so it doesn't feel oily at all. It's definitely like a nice lip balm. Definitely a luxurious feel on the lips. I like it. Not so sure about the shade, but I definitely like this lip oil. Okay, so time to get into these signature lipsticks. Super exciting. I think I'm gonna go in with Millennial first. Millennial is just described as a pink lipstick. And this is it with no lip liner. You guys know that this is the type of neutral pink that I usually go for, so I like it. I'm just gonna put a liner because that's what I do. And that's it with my liner. This again feels really nice on the lips, kinda a nice luxurious feel to it. Very moisturizing. It just feels really good, like it feels kinda sexy. 
And last but not least, we have Slip. So this is it with the lip liner. I definitely enjoy trying these out. I mean, I feel like the packaging makes it so perfect for on the go makeup and it's definitely giving skin, but still looking a little bit more awake, looking a little bit more, I have more life in my skin. So I appreciate that. The mascara, I am so excited about this mascara. I love the mascara, okay guys? Because I haven't seen my lashes look like this in a very long time. I really love the formula of these lipsticks. They're definitely very comfortable, lightweight on the lips and kind of a, more, a luxurious feel. I got two good shades for everyday makeup, but they do have bolder shades if that's what you're interested in. Definitely check out the links that I'll have down below. First impressions, I'm really enjoying these products and of course you'll see them some more and I'll keep you guys updated.